That's why I came. I said, Clara wants company. Huh? Clara needs. Clara needs me. Doesn't she? I am just devastated. In the meantime, Clara. That's Clara in labor. I mean, she won't stop. I'm gonna come hang out with you, okay? Clara is very needy. When she's in labor, she just likes for me to be here and pet her and, you know, let her sit on me and that kind of thing. Again, she's needy. She wanted me to be here. She likes to lean against me. Or she likes to sit on me. And I'm not complaining. I like to spend time with her. And uh, especially when she's going to have the babies. But um, she's starting to do little pushes. And those are for positioning the kids. That's what I understand. But she is chewing the cud. She's living her best life. So I am not gonna worry too much about it although yeah, we'll see we'll see what happens yeah she's getting more uncomfortable right now she's having a contraction a strong one this tarps that I put under have been amazing this is what she wants. She just wants to lean against me and um, push those babies out. And she was pushing, it's not gonna go. And it seems like something wants to come out, like a little. But she's so nosy that every time she sees me do something, she'll stop pushing just to see what I'm doing. There's nothing really there. I thought that there was some kind of goo starting to come out, but there isn't any. You're just a lot. See, I moved the camera. She wants to do what she wants to see what I'm doing and she's not worried about what she's doing. Yeah, a little, little something there. There we go. Yeah, good girl. I know, I know. Life is so hard for goalies when they have to push their babies alone. That's why I came. I said, Clara wants company. Clara needs me. Clara needs me. Doesn't she? For moral support? I'm here for moral support. You always do a great job. Outside we have a bunch of babies. We have Mocha's triplets, Gaia's twins, and Annie's single. And when it gets to this time of the day, maybe a little later but right now they're all trying to get in the barn and find a spot so they can lay down and for whatever reason the yearlings don't want that so they kick them out and so there's this drama between the moms and the yearlings and the babies trying to get in it's just you can hear it I mean it's so much drama yeah you're usually there with them with the drama, you're a drama lady. Pushing. She's pushing against my leg. My leg is right here, her booty is right there. Um, it's just before they start actively pushing to get the babies out. So they start positioning the babies. They start doing this little, see, that's what she's doing. Let's see if she does another one. Those little pushes to arrange the babies. Um, that makes me so nervous and uh, yeah I guess that's my least favorite part you know that part right before they start pushing for real <laughs> and motion sense lights that's another least favorite part still don't like this part 
last year, if you remember, she had quads and the first one was stillborn. So that's kind of still fresh in my mind and I hope that we don't deal with that this year. Once she pushes the very first baby, then all the other ones previously came right after. Sometimes I don't even have time to dry them off. And uh, she pushes another one. And the older the Dodo is, although she's in her prime, I mean, six, seven years old, they're still good. Maybe eight, nine, they're getting up there. But, um, you know, the older they are, sometimes the less effective pushes they have, and sometimes they need a little bit of calcium. I got you. Okay, so it's 3.09 and she's been pushing on and off for a good 15 minutes, a couple pushes, then she stops, a couple pushes, then she stops. Um, now there's a baby there. Uh, I'm going to give her some time to see how far she can get, but I don't see a hoof. It may be there. And I just don't see it. You got it. Good girl. And I could try to go right this second. But I'm trying to wait until she stretches herself. Okay. This is a tiny baby. So. I know. Hello, baby. Yeah, that's. This is your baby. See, Clara. You've been waiting for your babies all day. I know. This baby is really, really tiny. And so, because of that, she was able to push uh, push the baby out head first and both legs back. If this was a bigger baby, she wouldn't have, well, I don't think in my experience she was gonna push it out that easily. Like you saw from beginning till end. But now there's another one coming and she is like this. Like once she starts pushing babies out, she's very fast. <laughs> and I put it on some clean straw. Him, her, him. It's a him. And his umbilical cord is like almost non-existent. It's really short to the body. So Make sure I'll dip it before I go. So you don't want anything getting in through there. Especially when it's that short. Yeah. Good for mama. There you go. There's another one coming. And I'm gonna try to get this baby out of the way. Oh. It's a bag that broke. Good mama. Good mama. <laughs> I don't know. He has like a black head. You can't see it. But you know how she only has black till here? Like this part? Well, he has the entire head black. And it goes all the way to the back. So, he's a different kind of chamouse with a black head. That's interesting. Yeah, you can clean him. Make sure he's really, 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 really clean. Make sure he's really, really, really clean. Good girl. She really wants to be with her boy, but um, you're pushing another baby. You're gonna be fine. She's 
she is passing right now a little bubble that may have another kid. Yeah, it has a kid inside. Hi, baby. <coughs> this is bigger. Hi, baby. Can you breathe? He's trying. Or she, I don't know what it is. Good job, good job, good job. So, of course, oh, hi, it's, it has the most beautiful blue eyes. Oh, hi, welcome. Welcome to the world. Happy, happy birthday. Did you say happy birthday to your child? Good job, Clara. Such a good mom. Good mama. They have the other one trying to nurse from my leg. Little dude. I swear, you dudes are weird. She's cleaning the baby. <laughs> Do I dare look? It's another buckling, I'm telling you. Oh, Clara! Come on! Don't do this to me. Such a beautiful buckling though. He looks black, but I don't know if he's gonna be black. Okay. Now, I am pushing on her belly and I'm not feeling babies, so is this the year she's going to give me twin bucklings? I wouldn't put it past her <laughs> or any of my dolls, <laughs> but uh, oh, I'm telling you. to us. Come on. Come on, girl. I can't believe you just dropped it there. And I didn't even see it. That's how tiny it was. And it was inside the sack. I think he's gone. And he might have died when he came out inside the sack and I didn't see it. He is tiny. He's probably a pound, if that. Let me see. Unfortunately, he's gone. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. 
so hard for me to give up. It's so hard. There's no heartbeat. And massage is hard. But no, there's nothing there. Are you gonna have another one, Clara? Or are you done? leave it there so she realizes he's gone she'll know that he's gone so I'm gonna let her see that he's not alive and that way she won't be looking for him um, I tried everything nothing worked. I think by the time I got him out of the sack, it was too late. And now I'm scared I'm gonna leave and she's gonna have another one inside the sack and it's gonna die because she can't even tell when they're that little that she's giving birth, really. But I need to find him a tiny box and he's gonna go with all the little babies that lived in this farm, and by babies I mean animals, not babies. faster now. Oh, look at the heartbeat. So, here he is. I need your other child. Other child. Come here. Come here, little dude. You have a really short... Ew, I made a mess. Okay, great. I feigned everything. I hope it went where it should have gone. Trying to show you that they're trying to nurse. <laughs> Bigger boy, the black and white one. He's nursing and just fine. Clara went back to churn the cud, so she's pretty content despite the whole ordeal exactly. and I'm hoping she doesn't have any more I mean I couldn't feel the third one the third one was I just I was bouncing her and it didn't feel like anything so maybe it was already in the canal and I just could not feel him but I mean at this point I'm just waiting for her to pass her placenta just to make sure that there's no more surprises because watch her have four boys uh, don't step on your baby, please. So anyway, in total we have 11 babies. Out of the 11, only 10 uh, made it. And our little boy today that was still born or died right after coming out. I mean, I don't know what happened. 
seemed like he was alive today and whether he died after he came out and I didn't see him or whether he died in the canal waiting to be pushed out I don't know but um, I'm kind of glad that at this point she has two uh, she can handle two for tonight and I'm not gonna have to bottle feed a couple of babies inside um, nature it's wiser than we are so I guess he was just a tiny tiny little boy probably a pound if that but I knew he was alive because no hair would come out I mean he just died so um, kind of a sad ending to this first round of births and and kidding but um, I'm glad that Clara's fine I'm glad that my girls are fine that's all I can ask for if I have buck leaves and so be it you know it's it's the year that I'm not gonna keep babies I guess but I I just can't really believe that we have nine bucklings and two doublings it's like ridiculous up a shower and uh, I'll be back at 7 to get the older boy older babies I guess and uh, make sure that the little ones are warm and they're fed and I know Clara's a really good mom and I'm sure she's gonna feed them but I still have to keep an eye on them this first night then the second night I'm gonna bring them in and they're all gonna snuggle and sleep inside in the hopes of bottle feeding because I really want them to take to the bottle very easily and I've noticed that if I wait two or three nights then it's that's almost impossible for them to learn the bottle so I don't know what happened and uh, I am just devastated but they didn't make it. I fed them a bottle this morning and I'm a little brain scatter right now. Gave them a bottle. These are Clara's boys. And um, I left them in here as I do every morning. And when I came back, they had stuff coming out of their nose. And they were both dead. Now, I don't know what happened at this point, maybe in the future, looking back, I'll be able to see, but um, just finding the two Clara's babies and this dead, it's breaking my heart because she lost that first boy, that stillborn she had, and now she's calling for her baby. So. I'm gonna take them to her so she can see them and and understand that I didn't take them from her, but that she that they're gone. I'm sorry, little one. I'm sorry, little boy. This is just I've tried everything. They both had a heartbeat, but I think there's something inside. I am sorry, Clara. I am sorry. See, those are your babies. I am sorry, sweet girl. She smelled them, realized those were her babies, and she walked away and stopped crying. Like she knows. We'll see throughout the day, and I'm probably gonna have to start milking her twice a day. <laughs> 